Elder Scrolls Online. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Elder Scrolls Online video. Today I'm going to be analyzing the Templar class, which you can, uh, it's a really diverse class. You can use it as a healer, um, a, a tank, you can uh, be special, be offensive, I'm talking about Pokemon now. Uh, you, can, you can be magically offensive, you can be regular offensive. Um, this is my some footage of the regular offensive with all using all the spells. So um, if they have like a ward up or something, I can still hit them with my dagger or my mace. Now here is the side that is healing. Um, I I would prefer the other one just because I usually don't end up healing people. But this is pretty good if you're healing people and you still want to do some damage. Because what's cool about in this game is the staffs also do damage even when uh, you're attacking an enemy if it's a healing staff, which is pretty cool I think. And then you can aim it on your friend to heal them also. Um, only problem with staffs is you can't really block that effectively. So I'd rather use a shield and a mace or a shield and a sword or something like that. Because when you can't block, then it's, it's a pretty big shame. So I'm going to send you guys over to the analysis of the skill tree. Okay, now here we're looking at the skill tree for Paladin. Now there are two types of Paladin, like I've been telling you. There's the physical attacking Paladin, and there's the, uh, I guess, assistive Paladin, which is like a healer, I guess. So, with the attacking Paladin, I like, and I like to think, that you should focus on Dawn's Wrath and Adric's Spear. Now, Adric's Spear is the attacking spells, as you've been seeing. Like the javelin that you throw, and, and the spear strikes. And when you level this up, you can get Sun Shield, which is like more attacking and defensive. I guess more defensive than attacking, but there's things like Spear Shards, which you, I guess, that your friends can pick them up also. Uh, there's all these passive abilities that make your critical strike chance increased. Um, and the final ability is a huge spinner that kills out everything and it's OP, GG. Uh, now Dawn's Wrath is more ranged, um, like Solar Flare and Reflective Light. These fling like fireballs and things like that at enemies, which are really cool. Now, um, if I was more physical, then I would focus on Dawn's Wrath, because I already have a hammer, and when I'm up close, I'm going to be using my hammer, and then to pull the targets, I'll use Solar Flare or Reflective Light. Because Solar Flare takes a little cast time. Custom Magic also. And the f special buddy for here is uh, a Big Daddy Nova. And this is more helpful for, for your team. So Dawn's Wrath is in between Aegis Spear and Restoring Light. Restoring Light is full healer. Dawn's Wrath is in between and Aegis Spear is full attacker. There you go. Now I have a skill point here and I might spend it. But maybe not. Now going back to race, you should not be a Nord. Nords are like health resist. I guess if you're being the attacker, you might want to be a Nord because you get robust, but you're never really going to use two-handed weapons unless you really want to, but I like a shield because if you're tanking, then you want to have something to block them with. Here you have a clip of the new uh, ability customizations. Now, puncturing strikes when you get to level 4, you get to customize it between biting jabs and jab sweep or whatever the other one's called. Now, biting jabs, you get a critical hit chance, and when you're having fighting one guy, and puncturing sweep makes it kind of an AoE move. Where you get to hit more than one person as a big cone. Okay, now that you've seen the skill tree, I can show you some more footage of uh, the staff wielding paladin and the sword shield wielding paladin, or the hammer or whatever the hell you want to use. Um, I kind of like the sword and shield more, just because you can get all close and personal and do some regular damage if they have, if they're like a mage and they resist magic damage, because uh, that's a thing in this game. There's magic damage and regular damage. Uh. Um, I guess you can fight mages easier though with this one because you can get from afar, but that that they're just not so much better to be close because they can't block as well as a mage. And that's another problem with using the staff instead of a sword and shield, is that uh, you can't block that well. So if you're fighting more than one person, blocking is just kind of it's kind of like eh, and you get you get banged by one of the person one of the people. Um, but if you're with more than one people on your team, then it's really good to have the staff because you can heal them, and that's basically the whole point of using the staff as a paladin because. Why would you ever use a staff when you can use a shield? Because range, obviously, is a. Um, anyway, that's why. So, soon I'll be coming up on the sword and shield guy, so I might as well start talking about him soon. Eventually, whatever that word is. Um, sword and shield, I prefer a little bit more over the staff, because um, I really kind of wanted to be a tank. I, I never really played as a tank in any of these games, and I, I'm usually the rogue. So I kind of wanted to change it up a little bit, be, be a tank guy. And uh, here we go. And if you're wondering why I'm using a dagger, it's because it was the best weapon I had. 
What I've noticed in this game is actually it's really hard to get weapons and gear and stuff that you actually need unless you buy it. And it's hard to come across money. And maybe it's just the beta, but still. Um, what I like to use when I'm using this class is... I should have blocked there, but... I like to separate the two guys using the solar flare and the thing that knocks them over. Oh god, it's a nice leg spike. Oh wow, that is really good, by the way. When you upgrade your uh, stabbing move, your, your summon paladin sword or whatever it's called. Paladin spear. It's um, it's really, really good. Because you can upgrade it to make it like a sphere of damage or whatever the term it is. It's, it's pretty good, I like it. Here you can see it again. I always, I always try to pull the guy with that move because it has a little summoning time. And then you jab them in the forehead. Oh, dead. Anyway, so I like the shield guy a little bit more than the staff. But if I'm going to be with my friends and stuff healing them, I'll probably use the staff. I was just testing out the range there. I might have misclicked also, I don't really remember. Um, if you're wondering, each of the places gets a different respawn. Or different start of the game. So if you're wondering where the hell I am, it's I'm in the start of the game, kind of. End of the start. You know what I mean. Kind of. No. Um, I'm at the end of the tutorial. Basically, I like the staff and sh I like the staff less than the shield, but they're both pretty good because you can see that stun block. Oh, get stunned. Mmm. I finally did it right. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have more tutorials, and I'll see you next time.